All right, so today we're going to replace the seal in a Gusher 7500 close couple pump. Uh, there's a few few tools you'll need, a 15 16th, half inch, 9 16th, probably a screwdriver and a mallet, and a uh, Allen wrench so you can get the impeller off. There's eight bolts we're going to take out. All right, now this is a new pump, so you're probably going to have to manipulate the housing off of an older pump because it will be probably rusted or, or held on by some debris. Then you'll see the impeller. You want to usually we'll take a, a, a pneumatic tool and get this Allen bolt out, but today we're just going to use this ratchet. So you want to pry your impeller off should come off fairly easy unless the substance they're pumping has got it stuck but it should be relatively easy to get off then you'll see the mechanical seal you'll see the spring and the sleeve that should be facing you there you likely won't be able to pull that out you can take the spring out but the sleeve will likely be stuck so we'll just take it apart here and you can pull that off together sometimes the sleeve will be stuck on the shaft so you'll, you'll have to take it apart in a couple different ways. There we go. And so as you can see, the sleeve came off with the parts. That's not normally how easy it is. If it gets stuck in there, you can take a, a, a chisel and a hammer and drive it up this way. Maybe lubricate it with some WD-40 or something. But when you take this off, <clears throat> and if you haven't damaged it, you want to take a look at it, make sure it's not pitted or scarred up. And then you want to remove the seal head. And it likely will not come off that easy. <clears throat> you may have to take it to a press to get it off. But just lubricate it with something. So there's your seal head. And we flip this over. So you can take this stem off out of your way. And just set it to the side. And then you'll see the seal gland. And... Uh, just take your half inch wrench, take those bolts out, and you'll pull this off. The gasket may or may not come with it. You should scrape this surface here to keep it clean. Make sure the gasket isn't, particles of the gasket aren't stuck there. And the same with this, with the gland. You want to make sure you clean that, maybe even a wire wheel, clean all that off. And then, easiest way is just take a screwdriver and just tap that out and there's your seal seat all right so now that we got all the parts cleaned and and they should be very clean maybe put them in a parts washer get all the debris off because you want clean parts and clean hands when you're handling a mechanical seal all right so we use a rubber lubricant on on the uh, seal parts and this is the cup style seat versus the o-ring style either one is fine they, they both work in any of the parts so then you want to wipe that off where you've touched it and a lot of times we'll use alcohol to clean any of the oils off your fingers you put a new gasket on that and then mount it back in the stem plate make sure you tighten the bolts evenly or it could possibly leak and then you want to put your stem on your stem plate you want to bolt that down. If you notice, these are slotted, so that's so you can level your housing once you get the pump together. In the shop, we use pneumatic tools. <clears throat> All right. And if you notice, this hole in the stem should go towards the motor feet. It's a drain hole in case your seal leaks. Some people pipe it away, some don't. So you want to put that facing you if the motor feet are facing you. Put your bolts back in the motor. Generally, we only tighten two when we're building them so we can level it afterwards and then tighten all four. <clears throat> all right, once you get to that point, you want to slide your sleeve gasket on the shaft. 
just be careful with it. And then take your new sleeve or your old sleeve and push it down until it seats at the bottom. And pull your sleeve back off. And you want to take your seal head rotating part, put a little bit of rubber lubricant inside of that. Doesn't take much. And then a little bit on the sleeve. And then you just you can just push that on. You want to work it back and forth so it slides on easily. Then wipe that off. And then while the, the lubricant is fresh on there, you want to go on and push it down in place. Like that. You want to put your spring that loads the seal. And you're ready to put your impeller on. Put your key in. It's generally the easiest way. And then take your <clears throat> washer, place that there. This is an Allen bolt. And we torque these to whatever the torque specs are for, the, for that particular bolt. So we use half inch bolts, we use 3 eighths, we use 5 eighths. Now if this were a stainless pump, the sleeve is going to look like this. It has an O-ring groove in it. The reason we do that is so you can use a cold rolled shaft with a stainless pump. So then you would take the washer, put this Teflon O-ring in there, then it goes on and your bolt, a stainless bolt of course, would seal in that, that groove right there. And then this sleeve also has an O-ring that goes there and it would go in place of the sleeve we put on. Um, it's longer and the impeller is shorter, so one won't replace the other. You have to be specific for, for the pump serial number that you have. All right, now that that's done, you want to put your housing gasket on. Sometimes it can take more than one. You want to shoot for about 20 to 25 thousandths clearance between this and the inside of your housing. Uh, so it's best to put one gasket on, set your housing on, take a feeler gauge, and, and check the, the gap between the impeller and the housing. And then at that point, you're ready to put all your bolts back in and, and put your pump back in service or, or test it, whichever you prefer to do. The pump could leak just a slight bit once you put it back in service, but after you run it for just a little while, it, it should seat in and it should stop leaking. If it doesn't, you've either damaged the seal, something's in wrong, or there's dirt between the, the faces, something like that. You can see a written seal install guide at our download page at gusher.com.